Welcome to Terminator HQ. My name is Wayne Harris and these videos chronicle my efforts to resurrect the Terminator. Sometimes I need to run the vehicle, but it's a real pain to move the car outside when it's all taken apart. Therefore, I decided to fabricate an exhaust gas mitigation system that will allow me to run the vehicle while it's inside without getting fumigated. This video shows how I did it. I'm sure most of you have some kind of computerized, specialized CNC routing plasma cutting machine that'll cut these holes, but I'm going to stick with what I know best, and that's old school. Let's see if we can ruin this perfectly good box. All right, now I'm going to create a couple of starter holes. Okay, now I have the holes cut and the flanges mounted. Initially I was going to mount the flanges on the inside, but putting them on the outside gives me an extra half inch, a little bit more than half an inch of flange for attaching the tubing. And it also looks a little bit nicer because my holes aren't just quite perfect. I have to seal uh, the gap between the flange and the plastic. Now I've already done this one right here. You can see I use this uh, flexible rubber um, heat insulation tape. It worked really good. That stuff is super sticky. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and then we'll continue. Okay, we're getting there now. Single 12 inch exhaust port and two 8 inch exhaust inputs. And this unit is also going to double as a storage device for all of this stuff. So let's see if it fits. Okay, snug as a bug. Everything appears to fit. Let's get this little shit. Okay. And it works. All right, let's hook it up and see if it really works. Okay, here's the idea. I have two aluminized uh, tubes that connect the exhaust from the Terminator into this box right here. I have neodymium magnets that just hold those tubes in place. The tubes don't actually have to be airtight. Uh, this thing sucks so much air, it's going to also pull in fresh air. And, of course, then I have my exhaust pipe right here, 12 inch duct. This lid goes on like, like so. And then I actually have like two of these tubes, so I could really make this thing long. Right now I'm just going to run it over here. And I've got this really high powered fan. It's an exhaust fan. 
Let's see if it blows. Oh, man. Okay. So we've got lots of suction. Now, the theory is when the car's running, it's going to take all of the exhaust and discharge it outside. You know, I'm pretty sure this is going to work, but it's not worth getting sick over. So I have this uh, carbon monoxide alarm. I'm going to hook that up real quick. It has a digital readout that shows what the uh, carbon monoxide levels are, and then we'll, we'll give it a test. Okay, I have it. I have the carbon monoxide uh, detector turned on. Right now it's showing zero parts per million. And now I'm going to start up the car and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and see what happens. One of the things about these old cars is they have this PCB valve. See this right here? Sometimes exhaust comes out of there. So I may have to put a hose over here also. Last week I put in an electric fuel pump. You know, the guys at Austin's Speed Shop, I don't know what they were thinking. They put in a mechanical fuel pump, but in order to make it work, it wouldn't fit. So they had to take off one of my alternators. It, I don't know what they were thinking, but obviously that didn't work for me. So I'm gonna put that other alternator back on before I put my batteries there. Hopefully we'll get to do some fun stuff. I, I really don't like working on the mechanical aspects of the car so much. I like the electronics and the sound system. So looking forward to getting back on that. Hopefully I can do that soon. Sure is running pretty smooth though. Got a nice new radiator. In fact, I had everything that touches fluids replaced. It has all new belts, hoses, a new fuel tank, new fuel line, new carburetor, new water pump, new radiator, uh, and new tires. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I got the car back, and I'm just excited to be working on it again. So far, so good. 